Okay, so today we're going to be tackling this render right here. So yeah, let's get into it. So first thing we're going to add is a UV sphere. We're going to put smooth shading on it. And the first thing we're going to add is an array modifier. Um, right over here on your offset, put it 1.1 so they don't touch at all right there. And I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it eight and just sort of, I'm going to give it seven actually, and just sort of move it right here to the middle. And then we're going to copy this. We're going to put zero on this one and put 1.1 and then move it over to the middle. And then we're going to copy it one more time, put zero here and 1.1 right below it. And now we have our stack. Um, we did this previously on a different tutorial, but we're going to add a couple more modifiers here. So this isn't the, the same design. Uh, we're going to add a cast modifier. Um, so the issue here is it's casting. It's doing the wrong thing on the wrong spot. So make sure your cursor is in the middle. If not, you can just type in cursor and right here snap cursor to world origin just to make sure it's in the very center and then we're going to add an empty plane axis and then go to your cast settings and right here on control object click empty and it does right here in the middle and then right here on factor just sort of mess with it a little bit um, these kind of look like soft bodies um, but that's not what this is so we're going to put this sort of at a circle and the next modifier we're going to add is a simple deform. Um, again, it's deforming on the wrong spot. So we're going to put our axis origin with our empty. And then right here on axis, give it the axis of Z. And then just kind of twist it up. Just like that. And then the last modifier is a build modifier. And we're just going to scroll our timeline until we see that. See what we like. I'd say we'll put it right about there. That looks good. And then right here in the middle, we're just going to add an icosphere and scale it up and subdivide it. And so now we have um, this part of the design. Let's give it a background real quick. Okay, let's add our camera and give it um, pixels of 2000 by 2000. And let's hit Control Alt Zero. We're gonna hit G, middle click, and sort of move it in to right about there. And I'm gonna scale up my background. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is the shading. So we're gonna do the shader right here. So let's go into um, the node editor, and I'm gonna go into the look dev. So let's add in a new shader. Let's take our principled and duplicate it real quick. Whoops, we don't want to do that. This one. Let's bring it up and let's add a mix node. And then plug this shader right here into the mix. I'm going to make this top one metallic and a light yellow, which is going to make it gold. And bring down the roughness. And we'll make this one all the way black, metallic. And we'll bring down the roughness as well. And then we're going to add three more nodes, which is a color ramp. We're going to add a Voronoi. And a Moose Grave. And we'll connect the color to the vector and the color to the factor here and the color to the factor here. And we got something going on. First thing I want to want to do is flip the color ramp. We'll go in and just add something right about there. And we're good here. Okay, so add a new shader to this model. Um go back to this shader in the yellow, go to the hex and just copy the hex number so that this gold will be the same color. We'll go in Hit the hex, make it metallic, bring down the roughness. And it uh, looks like we're pretty good here. Let's For the background, let's add the same shader that's on here. So I think it's the first material. Yep. And then we're going to back it up a little bit. 
we're going to make the background a little bit farther back because we're going to add some depth of field to make it a little different. Um, so for our lighting, we're going to use a um, HDRI from HDRI Haven. These are all free, super high quality, and so just go in and download one that you want. I'm going to be using this Auto Shop 01 HDRI. So to use it, go over here to your world settings, click use nodes, click right here and go to environment texture and then navigate to wherever you saved your HDRI. Um, we will we'll be using the cycles engine for this and let's check out the render. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Let's add some depth of field. So for depth of field, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna add an empty plane axis, bring it all the way to the edge. I'm gonna scale it up a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Bring it all the way to the edge here, and that's going to be the object we use to focus on. So go to your camera settings, go to depth of field, focus object, and my second empty here. And I'm going to put my blades at 20, and then let's just bring up the size a little bit to add that depth of field. Okay, so it looks like we used uh, 0 0.15 here on the size. That looks like a good nice blur for the background and um that just about sums up the uh the render i hope uh you learned something i hope you had fun this is a pretty cool one um yeah so yeah thanks for watching